you'll hear so many people saying that DMU has a low reputation. I'm going to talk about jobs, accommodation, nightlife, friends, life in Leicester and reputation. I'm not a DMU student and I received so many questions about this university and so for you I chased ex and current DMU students to give me valuable information. So now that you know what to expect in this video, let's begin with number one. University accommodation is expensive. We are talking about £130 per week for a single bed and £140 per week for a double bed. It is recommended because you gain the experience, you make friends on your first year and then when you have enough friends on your second year you can choose your roommates and move to private renting. Private renting is much cheaper. We are talking about £55 per week or £65 per week. And it's not about being lucky, it's about doing a lot of research and booking in advance because otherwise these bargains will be taken by other people. There's a lot of competition. What you have to bear in mind about private renting is that if it's student dominated, you'll have people who can break in and steal valuable stuff such as laptops, cameras, money, read reviews of the agency, of the areas, join Facebook groups where people who lived in Leicester for so many years like me, you can ask me the safest areas in Leicester, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. If you need to, you can email me, which is linked down in the description below. When you find a room, you have to inspect, you have to take pictures of the room before moving in and you have to ask a few questions, you have to talk with the previous tenant for some information that you need to know about the house, the area and also the landlord. And you have to check the inventory list and be sure that you're happy before committing yourself into signing a contract. And also read the contract very carefully to avoid paying for hidden costs. When you come in Leicester, you'll hear so many people saying that DMU is for dumb people, DMU has a low reputation, DMU is a bad university. Let me tell you, this is not actually true. People say this because firstly, they have nothing better to do, secondly, they have no evidence, and thirdly, some people want to feel superior than other people. And the other reason why DMU is viewed as a low or bad university is also because it's open to everyone regardless of the grades that you achieved. So if you are an A star student, you're welcomed at DMU. If you got lower grades such as D, you you're still welcomed at DMU and usually DMU has students who didn't achieve higher grades and this is why this university is not viewed as a good university but let me tell you this is not true because it depends on the course that you study if you study courses such as accounting finance 
engineering, education, computer science, nursing, medicine, you'll be fine. And you have to like the university. Don't listen to what other people say about this university. You have to like the university in terms of teaching quality, the architecture, you know, the MU is quite modern. Do you like a modern environment? You have to be sure that you like the modules of the course that you want to study. The support, do you like the kind of support the university gives you? Support in terms of, you know, mental health, LGBT community, black community or ethnic minorities community. Do you like where DMU is located? It's in the city center. There's everything at the city center. You have everything within a few walking distance. Do you like the size of the university? You know, the Manfred University is quite small in size which means you have more individual support. You know, if you go to larger universities, giving individual support is much harder because there are so many students, but DMU has fewer students. But you have to choose wisely because at the end of the day, you're spending 9,250 pounds per year. And if you have a loan, then you have to pay for the interests and your parents, your friends, your lover, your boyfriend, girlfriend won't pay this much money for you. You have to pay it. Universities are really, really good at selling themselves. Universities are now businesses. They always hide flaws of the university and always tell you the best parts of the universities. That's why I don't recommend you to go to open days go but be clever and ask to ex or current students to know more about the insights like i mentioned before if you're studying courses such as computer science education nursing medicine engineering accounting finance you will have a job after graduating no matter where you study however if you study courses such as psychology, sociology, geography, history. The reality is that you will end up struggling to find a job after graduating from DMU or any other universities. I mean, if you want to become a teacher, you could study one of these subjects. And to be honest with you, you can learn about psychology, sociology, history by reading books and enrolling yourself in online courses or YouTube. When you become a DMU student, you should join UNITEMS, which allows you to find some temporary jobs at the university and some vacancies. I asked a girl who studied in Leicester. She made £2,000 by working in open days, by working as a clearing phone call assistant, so it's very important, it's crucial that you don't only focus on your course, but you also gain some work experience throughout your uni life. Because when you graduate, you search for a job, the employer or manager will ask you for past work experience, the skills that you can offer on the table and how you're going to improve the company, the service that you're going to work for. They won't only look at a degree. For international students, the jobs that you can do are exactly the same as national students. There are no exceptions. You can still join UNITEMS and you still have to have a NINO, which is a national insurance number. And you get it when you call for an appointment. You say that you need a national insurance number for work and you get an appointment you get the date and time, you take with you all the documents that they ask you for and you'll have a national insurance number and this number is needed when you apply for work. The other thing that international students ask me on my YouTube channel and also privately is that whether the Montfort University is good or not. I talked about the reputation before, but there is actually something else that you should know. I don't think you know that 
there is a website called Complete Guide University where you can make comparisons. The first thing that you want to do is to open your laptop or computer. You go on Google and you type Complete University Guide 2021. You click on the first website. What you have to do is to make comparisons between the subject that you want to study. So let's say, for example, you want to study computer science. And this is because I got questions about this course the most. Computer science. Here you go. You click on apply. We have Cambridge at the top but we are interested in uh, the Montfort University, which is ranked 50 in the whole UK. So it's not actually that bad. If you look at graduate prospect, which is jobs, is 86%, which is good, more than good. And if you look at student satisfaction is 79%. There are other better universities where they teach computer science better. We have another university in Leicester, which is Uni of Leicester, and it's much better than DMU. DMU has so many computers, laptops that you can borrow, a gym, a swimming pool. It has societies. In fact, the other point I'm going to make is you are all going to be on the same boat, so making friends in Leicester is not hard as you might think. Don't feel shy and say hi to the person who is sitting next to you, who looks like an interesting person to you. You can join societies such as football, dancing, gaming, writing, photography. To people I've chased and asked questions about DMU, they don't really go to clubs, they go to pubs which are high in number in Leicester, there are so many pubs. There is one girl who really enjoyed going to Mosh, so if you're into clubs you might you know, go there. In my opinion, nightlife in Leicester is slightly a bit dead compared to other cities such as Nottingham. Nightlife in Nottingham is amazing, it's so lively and Leicester is not that lively as Nottingham. This video was meant to be an interview asking questions to ex and current DMU students but most of them felt camera shy so I gathered all this information for you because I spent so much energy, so much time answering your questions and making this video and doing a lot of research also. I would like in return a subscription. So I like you to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to quit my job. <laughs> Also, for more videos about Leicester and to follow my journey of finding home and feeling a sense of belonging. The links that I mentioned before are all linked down below in the description, plus the accommodation where you can find all the locations and prices. And see you next time.